If you plan to give your PC to someone else, or if it's behaving unpredictably and you want to start over, you can reset your PC back to its original state when you first bought it. Resetting your PC removes all your apps and settings, then reinstalls Windows, but lets you keep your personal files if you want to. This way, you can recover your PC to as new condition without losing the important stuff. To get started, open the Start menu and select the Settings icon from the left rail. Then go to Update and Security, followed by Recovery from the left-hand side. You can also get to it by searching for the word Reset from the taskbar, then selecting Reset this PC from the top of the search results. From there, click Get Started to begin. First, choose whether you'd like to keep your personal files, like your documents and pictures, or remove them all, which will also remove everyone else's user accounts and personal files too. If you remove everything, you can also clean your drive at the same time. Cleaning your drive not only removes everyone's files, but overwrites the drive with random data, making it harder for anyone to recover information from it. Although this option is more secure, it can take several hours to complete, so use this option if you're recycling your PC or giving it away. Otherwise, if you still plan on keeping it, you can just have the files removed, which is much quicker. For this video, we'll keep all our personal files, so we'll go back to the previous page and select the first option. Windows will then search your PC and list all the apps you installed from the web or from installation disk that'll be removed. So make sure you have a copy of the setup files and license keys for all the apps you want to keep, so you can reload them again afterwards. Any apps you've downloaded from the store can be reinstalled from your account library. We'll show you how later in the video. Note that all the apps that are built into Windows, like the Mail and Calendar apps, will be restored automatically with their default settings. Lastly, it'll display a summary of what'll happen during the process, so when you're ready, click the Reset button to begin. This'll prepare the system for recovery, then restart your PC and continue uninterrupted until completion. Note that depending on the cleanup options you chose, this could take anywhere from several minutes to several hours, so it's usually best to let it run and come back once it's finished. If you chose to keep your files, you'll see the lock screen when it's done, where you can sign back into the PC as normal. Once you've signed in, it'll take a few more minutes to set things up again, after which you're all set. To finish up, you'll need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi, reload your apps and settings, and reinstall any devices connected to your PC, like printers or Bluetooth devices. To help reload your apps, open the file on your desktop labeled Removed Apps. This will list all the apps that were removed, which we saw earlier, so you can see which ones you need to reinstall, either from the web or from installation disk. To reload the apps you downloaded from the store, make sure you're connected to the internet, then open up the store from the taskbar. From there, go to your account on the upper right and sign back in with your Microsoft account. Once you're signed in, select the account icon again and go to your library, which lists all the apps you've previously downloaded from the store. Click the Show All link on the upper right to view them all, then just select the ones you want to reload. In addition, if any of the built-in apps need updating, like the mail and calendar, you'll see an icon above indicating how many updates are available. Click the icon to view them, after which you can update them all in one go. Lastly, if your computer has a serious issue that prevents Windows from loading, you can also reset your PC from the Advanced Repair menu that's accessible when your computer starts up. This menu can help resolve common startup problems, and you'll have the option to load it automatically on the second failed startup attempt. Otherwise, you can also load them manually in a couple of ways. One way is to start your PC from a USB recovery drive, which we've explored in a separate video. Once it's loaded, just choose your keyboard layout from the list, after which it'll load the repair options. Another way is to start your PC from the Windows Setup Disk if you have it, then choose Repair Your Computer from the Install screen to load the same menu. Check out our video on Advanced Startup Options for all the different ways you can access these options. Once you're there, select the Troubleshoot option from the main menu, then go to Reset This PC, after which you can choose to keep your files or remove them all like before. We'll go ahead and remove everything this time around. Windows will then restart your computer and prepare the recovery. Once it's back up, you can choose whether you'd just like to delete the files or clean the drive as well. Once you've made your choice, it'll display a summary of the items that'll be removed. 
so if you're ready to go, hit the reset button to begin, which will reboot your PC and continue uninterrupted until completion like before. So if you ever want a fresh start, just reset your PC and get it back to as good as new without losing your important stuff.